everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you are new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and also remember to share because why? Sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. Boom. And today guys, it's Wolverhampton 1, Manchester United 2, Manchester United finally getting a W just before the Europa League final, trying to build some momentum, not with the regular squad, but with the second team, you know, Wolves, of course, it was Nuno Espereto Santos, however you pronounce his name, was his last game as a Wolverhampton manager, as he's looking to move on, some may say he's looking for the Tottenham game, well, some may say he's looking for the Tottenham manager's position, I think so too, but he's a lovely manager and it will be fantastic for a manager for him like that to be also our club. Let me know what you think guys. But today Manchester United made a new record, broke a new record, going the whole entire season unbeaten away. It's a shame we couldn't do this at home. But nevertheless guys, despite that brilliant in terms of the result, of the performance itself, whew, I felt like I was watching Wolves versus Wolves. All the time, Wolves on the ball, Wolves on the ball again, Wolves on the ball. We was just fortunate to score two goals on a breakaway and also a penalty. Overall, my thoughts was that I'm pleased for the win in terms of what we did. Could do better, but Oli, well done. Manchester United finishing the season second and ha <laughs> Arsenal, who will be getting no European football, not even the Europa Conference League, the third tier of European division that will be starting next season. You couldn't even get that Arsenal fans. No European football. You know what, yeah? We were suffering, but Arsenal fans are suffering the most. <laughs> and let's go straight into the game. Anthony Elenga scoring his first goal for Manchester United as a 19 year old. Brilliant header from Anthony Elenga. Lovely cross by Daniel James with the assist. Throughout the whole 90 minutes, he did nothing but a lovely cross by Daniel James to assist it. And Anthony Elenga with a brilliant header to score it to make Manchester United go forward and up by one goal. And of course, Manchester United with the shaky defense. No Magdalof today. No Maguire, no defensive organization. Bay and Tusana Bay. It's easy. Samedo made it 1 1 for Wolves. He equalized, which I thought um, defensively we could have done better. The goalkeeper as well, Henderson, could have done better. But it was well deserved by Wolves. And nevertheless, it was well deserved. I, I, I can't say anything about it. Just before the first half finish, Manchester United getting a penalty. Brilliant from Van Beek for us to gain that penalty. VAR decision, of course, stopping the situation from Roman Sissi's clumsy, clumsy tackle. Yes, it was a penalty. You can say what you like, but it was a penalty and I don't care because I support Manchester United and I'm also biased and I'm Manchester United. Of course, one more time, I'm also biased for, towards Manchester United. It was a penalty and rightly was it deserved because the referee went down to the screen and had a look. I screamed penalty when I saw it as well. One matter scoring it, making it 2-1. Praising to the Lord, looking up, of course, to his mother, his late mother that passed away. And it was brilliant because I believe that is Quan Mata's final game. I'm sure he's going to be moving on at the end of the season. But big up to Juan Mata. After that, the second half, of course, it was the first half ended 2 1. And then the second half, Manchester United doing F all at all. After that, just pretty much nothing. I, I, I just, like I said, I felt like I basically watched was playing football. It was good to see Hannibal Lecter come on and make his debut. It would have been nice if he got a bit more minutes. I thought Oli could have made a substitution around the 70th minute, give these guys Shola Shotare and also Hannibal the award winning for under 23s and also Young Player of the Year's award. A couple of more minutes, at least 20 minutes or 15 minutes, not like eight, nine minutes to play to show. But they did well when it came on. Full time Manchester United winning 2 1. Brilliant for the results. Fantastic the fact that we went the whole entire season, guys, unbeaten. Away? I paused on that because I had to think, wait, wait, wait. Away? Definitely. But it's just brilliant. It's been a decent improvement from last season. Otherwise, I honestly think that it was a false second place because other teams like Liverpool was poor. Liverpool finishing, I believe, third and Chelsea making it, just making it. 
thanks to Tottenham beating Leicester 4-2. And haha, <laughs> Arsenal again, you ain't gonna be in your app. You men are shit. You men are trash. <laughs> Woo! Anyway, guys, man of the match today, I'm gonna have to give it to my boy Ahmed Diallo, mon frère, mon ami, my Ivorian compatriot, you get me. Uh, I thought he'd done well. He was exceptional. He was a new say You can see the talent that's there for him, and you can see he's going to be a very good player as well. Donkey of the match has to go to Daniel James. Assist. But after that, he wasn't missing throughout the 90 minutes. Dan James didn't even have played the whole 90 minutes. He should have came off and Ahmed should have stayed on. It says, oh, Dan James provides nothing. He should get sold next season. He should get sold way ahead before you guys even put the word Anthony Marshall on your stinking breath. You get me? Manchester United fans, this is their last game of the Premier League season. One more game to go, of course. Manchester United playing against Villarreal in the Europa League finals. Can we do it? Hope we can. You know, I'll be pissed off if we don't. So pissed off. And I'll be questioning in our manager in terms of trying to do things, especially in the big games. Can he do it? Because he's failed so many times in the semi-finals. And this will be his first, first, first big test. Can he win in the big games? If he fails to do that, pull. Shoo. Out, please. Get me. Well, guys, this has been your match reaction by Ivorian Spice. As always, remember to follow the official Instagram account of Red United TV, which is Red United TV one baby and also remember to follow the official tiktok account of Reggie night tv which is Reggie night tv and remember to follow my personal instagram account which is ivorian underscore spies also remember to like also remember to subscribe smash that like button remember to share because why sharing ivorian spice is caring and as always my ladies make sure you share this link to your ex-boyfriend and also remember to share this link to your current boyfriend make, remember to share the link to the decker that word that always buys you lunch hoping that he'll get some but he never will and you just laugh at him and then just enjoying the lunch and you're like ah you're never gonna get this but i don't enjoy this free lunch remember to share the links to him as well and also remember to share the link to the guy that's been trying to move to you at the bar stop you told him you got a man and he's telling you oh you're buyers anyway because he's hating that he got rejected also the guy that's been trying to move to you at the train station remember to share the link to him as well as he's been trying to move to you and you've told him several times you've got men but he's there every person but we can be friends though but we can be friends that will never work on her and also remember to share the link to the guys your dad's friends that's been looking at you now that you are grown and they're telling you my oh my you have grown here eh? and when you share the link and they tell you what is this tell them that you found a man that does it way better than you and that's ivory and spice and guys one more of course remember to subscribe as always remember to keep it united and also remember to keep it red united because we out baby boom